Greetings, everybody. Welcome to uh, episode five of the Foot Golf Vlog. Um, as you can tell, it's uh, weather's not so great, so I'm not playing today. Um, but uh, even when the weather's crappy, you can still work on some things. And today, we'll work on putting. As with all things in foot golf, there are multiple techniques to things like putting, which is what we're going to do today. And uh, so I'll show you uh, the one I use, uh, the one I learned in uh, Oakland at the tournament I went to, one of the ones I goof around with, and then one that's a big time no-no in foot golf these days. So the technique that I use personally is the inside of the boot, and uh, that's it's pretty basic. Uh, what I usually do is put my foot to the uh, outside next to the ball. Uh, about the toe box about even with the center of the ball and I balance myself over the plant foot and then just swing my leg back and forward through the ball just like I was swinging my putter in regular golf so again that's just the uh, toe box about even with the middle of the ball maybe a couple inches to the left of it for me anyway um, your mileage may vary and uh, just get the get my putting foot ready just an easy swing through. And one that you'll see pretty often and I've seen used quite a bit uh, when I was in Oakland for the tournament I was at uh, is the toe poke. And basically what they do there um, is just a, a poke with the toe of the shoe. Uh, so it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, basically they pretty much set themselves up. Um, their plant foot's usually a little bit behind the ball. Uh, they step over it and they'll balance themselves on their plant leg and then just a little, little poke with the toe of the boot. The other technique that's uh, not commonly used, um, I usually only do it when I'm trying to hit a short one like a one or two footer just to, you know, if I've missed one, you know, had a near miss or something, I'll just kind of do one of these, tap it in. Um, I don't, you don't see a lot of people using the outside of the shoe, but it is something that can work if you are used to it. Um, but it is a little bit of a contortionist act because you have to kind of pigeon pigeon toe your your uh, your kicking foot. But uh, it can work. Now the one that's the big no no in foot golf now uh, it used to be legal some years ago, um, but they've outlawed it because the rules state that each kick must be uh, you know a, a a single movement and the, the, your foot must be set behind the ball and strike it. Um, so the, it's the sole roll, and you'll see a lot of this in some of the older uh, foot golf videos from Europe and the UK where people were putting their foot on top of the ball and rolling it like that. Um, it's, uh, I think it's a cheat. I mean, I've never had much success trying it, um, but, uh, but they do, people do seem to think it's easier. I don't see how you would get uh, I don't see how it would be very good for any long, long putts at all, um, but it is what uh, people had used in the past. Like I said, though, the rules uh, say that your foot must start behind the ball and strike the ball in one motion, and that's why that's why I like the inside of the shoe. And uh, that was working on putting indoors. Uh, hope you enjoyed that and. Uh, Take a look at Foot Golfos. I'll put the link down below here. And uh, they have a neat little video about a putting accessory that's great for you to use. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, get out there and play when the weather gets better. <laughs> <laughs>